I'm going to ask you about the workload you're look, you're envisioning CAM having this year. Um, how do you guys determine that number, or is it by feel, or how he feels about it, or how, how do you look at it? Going it's uh, by performance, by feel, by fatigue level, and, and the success that we're having uh, at any given time. So uh, I know, you know, you can, you can throw out a number, and it... Uh, it doesn't mean much because if he's not playing well, he's not going to go all the time. If he's playing well, we're going to ride him a lot. Um, fatigue comes into play. Um, LB um, plays a factor in it as well. How prepared is he and, and how well is he playing? Uh, so I can't give you a solid number. I'd be lying if I told you a number anyhow because we probably wouldn't stick to it. Uh, we just want to make sure we have two goaltenders that are healthy, playing at the top of their game and giving us a chance to win. You've said a number of times that the more Cam plays, he, the, the better he seems to play. And he says the same thing about himself. But mm -hmm. if an ideal world means you back off of him a little bit, is it a challenge for a guy to stay sharp, maybe if he's not getting as much action, when that's where he's at his best? Well, it, it is. I think it, uh, it changes things a little bit for Cam. But um, you have to remember his entree into the league was as a backup uh, to Lundqvist. He didn't play that many games, so he's been through that situation before. Now, it'll never get to that point, I don't believe, where he, uh, you know, he's only playing 20 games a year. That'd be a drastic cutback. But um, uh, if there's breaks in the schedule, um, if there's times where uh, it's a little longer between games for him, he'll have to prepare his mindset for that. Um, it's very, uh, very mature. Uh, man, uh, maybe not as many career years, but uh, he's mature beyond his years as far as men mental prep and and stamina in that area, and I think he'll do a good job of it. I know, you, sorry, I know a year ago you, you guys were trying to get into the playoffs, and that was the, kind of the bar. The bar has been raised this year. Do you take a playoff run into consideration when making the decision, those decisions this year? How much play well, we, we look at the team's ability to have success. Uh, I think if we... Uh, if we jump six or seven months ahead of ourselves and, and begin talking about playoffs now, we're going to miss what's real important, and that's the start of the season. And as I told the players the other day, the, uh, the two points on day one when the season opens up are just as important as the game 81, 82 points. So we've got to pre be prepared to go. Um, you know, We've got to push, and our job is to win as many games as we can. Um, and uh, we'll pick the goaltenders accordingly um, each night. Our goal is to win, and we'll pick, uh, just like we do with the roster, we'll pick the goalie that we think can do that. Yeah, we, yeah you, I don't know if it's, um, if it's something about playing the back end that helps you, but uh, Brent Burns did it, Norris Trophy winner. Um, he went up front and... Uh, and he played extremely well as a forward. When he went back to the blue line, it, he became even a better defenseman. I don't know if you understand the game or you have some instincts that, that trade off, but uh, we see Joey doing the same thing. He's been impressive in his two days here. Um, he's quick. He makes good plays. He's smart. He works into position. He's got a good anticipation skills. Um, so it's been pretty impressive what he's done um, in the last uh, 40, 45 games of the season. Um, and to this point, and uh, I think he's got an opportunity to uh, to continue to do that and impress us throughout exhibition season. Todd Darnell says the training wheels are off this year for him. And he <coughs> sees a good opportunity in front of him to show he deserves some more ice time. What do you guys expect out of him this season? Well, I, w I wouldn't say training wheels, but the uh, opportunity to grow even more. Um, he now, in my opinion, he's gone from looking like a, um, a young man into a mature man physically. And uh, his testing scores are off the, off the chart. He's very strong. He looks very confident, skating well. Um, once the game gets going, uh, the confidence to do things that you need to do in certain situations should be there this year. Where in the past, um, if you made a mistake, it'd take you a little longer to recover. Um, I've seen continuous growth in his game, and we expect that to happen again. He said he worked all summer on being a more explosive player. For you as a coach, what does that mean exactly on the ice? Well, I think there's a number of ways to define that. When we think of, of explosive, we think of skating and, and the quickness from start to, uh, to full speed. Uh, but there's also the physical explosiveness, one-on-one uh, -on -one in the corner, the, able, the ability to push the opponent around uh, to clear out the crease net front. Um, there's a lot of ways of describing that. And if all of those areas were, were covered by him, I think we'll have a really good player.